What's going on future and current CWIs? Welcome back to the channel. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. My main goal here is to make you a CWI on the first try and give you the latest and greatest on this CWI exam. You're going to need it. In my previous video, I emphasized the importance of knowing the book of specifications. If you haven't seen that video, I'll link it in the description below. In this new video, we will go over some questions that may be asked during your CWI exam. We will be focusing on guided band test criteria and recognizing the discontinuities on the bands so you can be familiar if you see them on the exam. I will also show you the fastest and in my opinion, the best way to measure the root opening on the pipe specimen. During the exam, it might be a little stressful because you have a lot of material and equipment sitting on your desk. You're gonna have the book of specs, uh, the book of exhibits, all your tools and replicas on the same table. As long as you keep your desk organized and stay calm, you'll be in good shape. Okay, so for the first question, we'll talk about the proper preparation bent specimens should have. So if you take a look at the book of specifications on section 5.4.2 band criteria on the second paragraph, it states specimens not meeting preparation or bending requirements that do not contain a rejectable discontinuity shall be disregarded and a replacement specimen prepared from the original weldment shall be tested. You just have to be careful selecting the answer to this question and pick the most relevant answer that they provide you based on this band criteria. For this specimen, the well reinforcement should have been ground flush and there were no fractures noted. AWS loves to word their exam in a certain way to confuse the candidate. So for question number two, we will talk about the specimen edge radius. Per section 5.4.2, the radius shall not exceed an eighth of an inch. As you can see on this specimen, it clearly exceeds eighth of an inch edge radius criteria. You can also find more information on page 41 that displays a drawing on how the edge radius should be prepared. And the eighth inch is the max. I know if I seen this question on the exam, I would mark this as rejected. So for the third question, when you take your part B exam, you will get a question that will require you to inspect and check the root gap to ensure it's in compliance to the WPS they reference. The best and fastest way, in my opinion, to check the root gap is to stick your machinist ruler through the four and a half inch pipe specimen and read the results. For this example, let's say the question asks you to review WPS number one. Based on the WPS, the root spacing is to be an eighth of an inch with a plus or minus tolerance of a sixteenth of an inch. So the max root opening is three sixteenths of an inch or 0.187. Based on my reading, I got a 732nd, which equals 0.218, and this exceeds the max tolerance. So this would be rejected. So during my preparation for the Part B exam, a lot of people really didn't want to share with me what was on the exam. I was very nervous and very curious, but I knew I was going to tackle it and conquer it on the first try. So after the exam was over and everything was said and done, I had a bright idea to put together a training guide. The Arc of War, it basically covers the book specification in great detail, all sections. I also throw in some tips, tricks, and similar questions that were asked on the exam. So pick it up today, email me, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see where it takes us to get your CWI. There you go, future CWI candidates. These are all very possible questions that can be brought up on the CWI Part B exam. And one thing I do want to mention is that my content is based on my experience and the way that I interpret the book of specifications.